Hey guys, are you ready to watch this video? And do you have your popcorn with you? Just wait while I get mine ready. It will hardly take me a minute thanks to this wonderful microwave. Did you know that the microwave was an accidental invention? What? I was an accident? But, but... <laughs> oh, Micro, I didn't want you to hear that. I'm sorry. Please don't cry. I think I need my heating therapy. Oh, yes. Here, heat some of this for me, please. I thought people like me. <laughs> of course they do. People love you. This is what I was going to tell our friends about today. The invention of the microwave. Come on, zoom in. Our story begins in the year 1894, when a young boy named Percy Spencer was born to a couple in Maine. Sadly, his father passed away only one year after his birth. So his mother gave him to his aunt and uncle to raise. And raise him they did. Oh, you're such a curious little lad. And hardworking too, huh? <laughs> Which was good because when he was eight, his uncle passed away and he had to drop out of school in order to help his aunt run the house. He spent the next few years working at the spool mill until one day he heard that the paper mill nearby was going to start using electricity. Oh my, this is electrifying! This really sparked an interest in young Percy and he began learning all that he could about electricity. So much so that when the paper mill started hiring, he was one of the only three people to be hired to install electricity at the mill. And my joy knew no bounds. At the age of 18, Percy joined the US Navy. This turn of events happened as Percy got interested in wireless communication. After hearing about the wireless operators aboard the Titanic, when it sank. And very soon, I became the world's leading expert in radar tube design. <laughs> While building some radar equipment, Percy noticed that the peanut cluster bar in his pocket had become a gooey mess. But I hardly felt any heat there. And this incident sparked some great interest in me. I felt the need for more experiments and more tasks and experiments and <laughs> this was making me so happy. So he tried some corn kernels next and pop, they became popcorns. He even showed it to one of his colleagues but switched the corn for an egg. Silly me, and the egg exploded. <laughs> This gave Percy the idea of putting the contraption in a box. In 1945, I got the patent ship on the microwave, which was only one of the 150 patents to my name. <laughs> but his microwave was huge and could be only used by restaurants. The first commercial microwave wasn't until 1972 and over the years as the technology got better and better the microwave became an inseparable part of any food industry and has now become an everyday household item hey but my uses are more than what you guys think i'm used in other industries to dry cork Ceramics, paper, leather, tobacco, textiles, pencils, flowers, wet books, and even matches! <laughs> See, you're loved by everybody! Quite a history to our common kitchen appliance, don't you think? Oh, that's my favorite sound! Dr. Binox, aren't we all heading for the... Trivia time! Percy Spencer was a completely self-taught physicist. He even learned trigonometry, calculus, chemistry and metallurgy all by himself. 
microwaves were earlier known as electronic ovens. So kids, pop in some popcorns and tell me what was the first piece of food cooked in a microwave. Tune in next time for more fun facts. This is me zooming out. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.